Welcome back to Operator Syndrome. We are here talking with Jose, former ranger, sniper, many other great things. Um, we're going to talk about your third deployment. That's where we're picking up. Yeah. And full disclosure, like we always do, we've attempted to, to record this episode already. It didn't go well or it went very well, however you want to look at it. Yeah. Um, and so we're, if, if at any time it sounds like we're, we're talking through things we've talked about before, that may be it you'll be all right so um third deployment um one of the things we talked about was the fact that um the ambush which was kind of a pivotal moment in our young mm -hmm. careers um happened pretty early on in that 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 third deployment um and so we were let's talk through that um you know, earlier episodes of mine, I go through my experience. Um, I talk about it solo, but I think it'd be interesting to hear your perspective, what you saw and felt that, that day and night, that period. So I think right off the bat, an area where our stories diverged was um, we were two birds coming in to land. I was on the bird that had the hard landing and you were, you were not. Um, talk about... Uh, Talk about how you realized something had not gone well on the other bird when you guys got off. Um, I remember, I'm going to be honest, man. I, I remember a little bit, but I do remember hearing the call. I didn't have much communication on my, on my radio from mm -hmm. the, you know, I, I get the little bits that my team leader would pass on to me. Mm -hmm. uh, but I heard it. I heard that they had like a, either a rough landing and then somebody was getting, I want to say, not evac, like we say, but somebody was going back home. Mm -hmm. I knew that much, or at least back to the compound. Um, but I didn't know exactly what happened. I didn't know this. Some of the guys that left weren't even there. You know, throughout till afterwards. That's mm -hmm. how hectic it got afterwards. For, but uh, I remember my my main, my main focus was always the mission, because you know it's it's not a game, I guess, and it's um. Man, just do what you're told to do and, and don't mess it up, you know? So mm -hmm. I, I would focus on whatever the, the hell my, my team needed to do. And, and that's what I focused on. I did know that somebody, that one of the birds, that the, that the bird had a hard man or something happened. But I wasn't aware of that, you know, to the point where somebody was actually hurt. hurt. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's basically what I remember from that. And, uh, and it ended up, it was like a handful of guys had broken ankles. Um, yeah, it was like, it was pretty hard landing. It was like three or four guys had like broken ankles, yes. and then one guy straight up broke his leg, and he was the guy that they we we left on the bird, and said uh, he tried to get off. Um, yeah, and as he was coming up, I, I remember turning back around and looking at him limping off, and he was like, "My legs messed up," and then they were just like, "Get back on there, <laughs> like, get back on there, just go back." Sure, it is. Both together. Leave, leave him. He's a straggler. He's a straggler. Uh, so, so he went back. He flew away. Yeah. He went with the bird. Um, and then we go to the objective. Um, what you went inside? Inside the compound. That, that for the the original objective compound. Mm, you, I were was. You in on that? We were. We were. We were security. We okay. were pulling security. Uh, we were. I want to say we were. Not main assault, but uh, second assault, I think. Okay, sure. That, that's what it is. And, and it so, wasn't a. It wasn't a. Do you remember it being a big place? I don't remember. I don't remember it being that big of a building. I remember it. No, I don't remember it being a big of a place, but I do remember finding some, some cool stuff in there. Uh, yeah, talk about that. Yeah, I remember them finding um mine. I th I'm pretty sure we were security. We came in. We were second assault. We came in afterwards after the main assault, and then. As we pull security, I remember the SSC part, um, finding stuff like uh, nine vision goggles, mm -hmm. radios, um, just stuff like that. Stuff that you're like, well, oh, these guys don't usually have this. So this, mm -hmm. you know, the, we, we probably stumbled and not stumbled. I'm pretty sure they knew where they were going uh, or where we were sent there. But it was one of those things where you're like, you know, in the back of my head, I'm like, well, they're probably watching us or something. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. even though we, we, we do control the night, I guess. Uh, as, as a as as that effort, but it's it's their home, man. 
you know, they know where to stand. They know where to hide. They, you know, even though we try our best to get in there silently, and if you remember that these guys had uh, lookouts, mm -hmm. uh, and, for sure. You know, they they had their ways, and now they have radios for sure, and night vision. So you know, yeah. I did it in my head. I'm like, well, definitely pull security. You <laughs> know, definitely don't 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 mess around and look look around. But uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember them finding stuff like that, and I remember them saying that uh, towards the end of that particular um you know uh breach that we had done in that house and everything that we got the call that there was a uh what we call a squirter mm -hmm. or or somebody which is somebody just running away from the objective mm -hmm. that might possibly be of uh of interest to the uh to the mission and i remember we were going to do a follow-up i remember i i that's good confirmation because i in i'm in my memories I remember hearing about what you all found on the inside because we must have been outer court on uh, outside. I don't remember going in. So we must have been outside. <clears throat> but I didn't know 100 percent that you all had found that type of stuff in there. And then it and then it kind of makes sense why we wouldn't let the guy, the squirter go. Why we just kept chasing yeah. and chasing and chasing after this guy. Yeah. Because sometimes every once in a while, if they got a good head start on us. And if we found nothing of consequence, we would let sometimes they're just, all right, they're gone. They left. Um, it's not like we would run down squirter. Oh. It, it depended on the situation, but sometimes we would just let it go. Um, and then they just, maybe they decide to follow that person, yeah. uh, use an ISR and then try to pick them up later. Yeah, exactly. But exactly. for this one, it was just like, why are we just chasing after this guy? Um, and so what you all found on the inside, that makes the story more complete for me that helps me yeah. understand better yeah i remember i mind you I, I didn't personally put my hands on that but i like i said what i hear on the radio when i heard people talking when mm -hmm. people saying and i was like all right so this is you know so yeah so so we followed this dude and um i want to say we got back on the bird or we just walked right behind him. i think that's what it was i think we just, just we never got back on the bird did we no we walked so um, we straight up just follow this dude which, mind you, this guy's like in sandals, so you can mm -hmm. at night. Yep. You know what I mean, I stuck my toe on the couch here. Imagine that guy through all those rocks, and he made. I it. mean, des describe the terrain. The terrain was rough, man. I remember because I remember this, and maybe I'm wrong, but I remember it being the whole time almost at an angle. You know what I mean? Like on the side of a, on the side of a uphill both ways. Hill. Huh? Uphill both ways. Yes. But that it, and this is <laughs> bad, man. And and um, I was going and going through some big old rocks too. Yeah. And that, uh, you know, we have night vision, so it helped a lot. But I don't know what this guy had on. That guy was flying. Mm -hmm. I mean, we weren't just walking, man. We were sometimes we were, you know, speed walking like they do in the mall and stuff. But like <laughs> they were we were moving, and this guy had a had a pretty good lead on us. But mm -hmm. eventually, cut up to the guy, uh, right before the. You know, before I turn light, mm -hmm. and uh, I believe it was, I want to say second platoon or first platoon, one of those two. You know, encountered the dude. You know, gave him commands. The guy had a gun, so you know they did what they did and uh, neutralized the situation. And 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 uh, you know they checked the guy for anything. I remember that, and I think remember not taking a break but stopping. And okay, well we're about to. Either make the call whether we exfil or we uh or we move on, and that's kind of where you know start <laughs> they started going downhill. There, there's something I there's something I remember. Let me check with you. Yes. So I remember when it was the sun had come out, and I remember mm -hmm. we were on top. I remember being on top of a ridge before we headed down into that yes. valley. That's where the gym. I, I and I remember seeing like intentional rock formations i can't remember if it was like arrows or diamonds or something i re I, re I i feel like i remember like intentional rock formation and I, and I remember being like oh that's weird and i don't know if that had anything to do with with our ambush but um do you recall seeing anything like that or is that that might be a detail too small to remember this far away now um i can't say i remember that I will tell you this, the moment, 
the moment that we got ambushed and the way it happened, uh, the, the way it happened in the beginning didn't make any sense, right? Well, we, no, I didn't see any of that coming. Mm -hmm. But the moment it happened, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. You know what I mean? It was like, why the heck? Like, and, and I'm a, I'm a, I'm a freaking nobody. I'm a private. I don't. I literally do whatever you tell me to do. Drills hard, like uh -huh. we did in a, right. in a Fort Gump. But yeah. uh, uh, but I, I saw it. I was like, man, this, this makes this is good. <laughs> they did a good job here, because we, if you remember, <laughs> we're in the middle of the compound. There's rounds literally coming from around us. Yeah, we're we're in, we're, we're in a little bowl, man. It yeah. was a little bowl. Yeah, it's like how who's in charge? Like who didn't see this? You know what I mean? But it, it I think it was. I want to say is that guys less effort. They're like, hey man, just get them over here. That one squirter, and then somebody to talk, just talk talk about. It. I like how you explained it the last time. So talk about it. So we're up on a ridge. Yeah. Someone makes the call. Okay, and and it's, you know where we decided to hang out for the day to remain over a day mm -hmm. we can quibble about whether that was a good spot to choose but i, I think it was, it was the only I think spot it, to choose it was that's true yeah it, there we it was a pretty desolate area yes sir. and um which makes the ambush more interesting right because it's not like you could just call up dudes from the nearby village there, there wasn't at least that i remember it wasn't like a big village close by so we're kind of out in the boonies um the birds they're not gonna come in for us no. so that's not our call um you know they're big black helicopters in the bright day lots of mountains around yeah. for obvious reasons they say you know we're not gonna come get you hang out and so um but talk about how we got sucked in to the ambush so we're sitting on that ridge uh you want you got one EKA there uh he's been searched everything you can get out of him as I remember them trying to make the call whether we're leaving or not, uh, there was one guy, one gentleman at the very middle of the, of that field. If you can imagine our ridge and then the bottom open middle open field, then another another mountain on the other side or whatever mm -hmm. it was. A valley. <laughs> A valley. That guy's sitting there. This guy stand he is literally just standing there. And so it ha happens when people just stare because they're like, what's going on over there? So nothing suspicious. And then they make the call for, and I want to say it was our, 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 our squad to go pick them up. They go grab them and bring them back. So we go, we grab them, bring them back. They question him. Uh, at this point, you know, I'm just taking a knee and putting security afterwards. And uh, they question him. I don't know what they question this guy about, but, uh, we ended up leaving. They're like, okay, we're going to move back to the open field, and we're going to put this guy right where we found him, basically. As we're doing that, and we get to this open field, uh, <laughs> and I remember, <laughs> it's almost like, I, it's, it's like when you play something, and here you go. And as soon as this gentleman, this guy is right there, you know, I want to say, shit hits the fan. Whereas I recall, and maybe I'm wrong, and maybe in my head, I'm adding too much sauce to my tacos here, but I remember a big old boom. And then we hit the ground and then rounds just start flying. Right. And um, last time you asked me if I remember seeing anybody, man, look, I I was focused more and maybe this is my, I don't want to say, well, I was scared, so I can't say that I wasn't scared, but maybe it was the fact that I was kind of trying to make peace with whatever was about to happen mm -hmm. that I focus more on uh, definitely whatever my, 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 my uh, team leader or squad leader was, was telling me. And he, then I was a saw gunner at the time. So it was me and another, another kid. And so he's like direct fire that way. So I'm sure he was seeing something that I wasn't seeing, but if he pointed that way, I have an area weapon. So I'm going to shoot that way. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so uh so I started we started shooting, but the thing was what I was focusing more on was the fact that these rounds were missing us by inches. Like mm -hmm. like I remember looking at my my, my squad, and I remember looking at the other song on it, and and these rounds just completely it, it was like um like they were toying with us. 
You know what I mean? But they weren't. They were just horrible shots. Or just we were just very lucky. And uh, I remember those rounds getting really close to me. And I was, you know, making making that um that peace with God or whatever. They, 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 I would assume everybody has a little prayer, you know what I mean? He goes, okay, guys, this is it. All right, I don't have time to go to the whole spiel, but you know what I you, 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 you know what I mean. And mm-hmm. then he gets to work. And I remember getting to work and then uh and then bounding. Again, doing whatever the hell they told me to do and maneuvering towards that open field where we were just sitting ducks and uh and trying to find the best cover that we can and uh just doing doing everything we trained every everything from that ranger handbook that they make us read and train you know what i mean it was it was pretty crazy and it was pretty cool at the same time and scary i mean talking about the ranger handbook the, the way the way the initiate the ambush was in, was initiated i also remember it starting with I, i'm kind of assuming it was an rpg but also like textbook right yeah. It's like we, you know, you'd, you'd been to, to pre-ranger, ranger school, um, you graduated, but like uh, you start with your, you know, casualty initiate with like your casualty producing weapon, automatic weapons, yeah. um, catch us out in the open. For those, if it's not clear, we were in an entire platoon. This was a valley, yes. an entire platoon completely exposed uh, with high ground on at that point two sides eventually become three sides where we would almost be surrounded i mean we would be kind of surrounded um when i was telling the story from my perspective i remembered that one of the hardest things i had to do that day and like in life in general is i can still remember like the feeling of seeing the rounds impacting everywhere but having to bound the first time I had to, to, to like stand up and then <laughs> I remember that being like, seriously, I, I can almost feel it right now. The most, that was like, that's one of the toughest things I've ever had to do, which is yeah. like, which is like, I'm not even, I'm not safe laying down. I'm definitely not safe if I stand up, but had to, you had to do it. Right. And, uh, <laughs> I mean, did you, you're, you're laughing, you're smiling. What do you, it was that a similar feel? That's a yeah. tough fucking thing to do. <laughs> I remember, you know, I, I you, you, believe it or not, at least remember these guys were running down that down that valley, down that. I remember that they were coming towards us, which is something know. you saw. I I never saw them coming from the side. I actually never. I actually the never saw time, them. The only time I saw anything was in the in the initial when when uh, my squad leader he must have seen something. Mm-hmm. He was the one point like right there. Mm-hmm. So, and you know what? It could have been just me going, oh, that's what they are. You know what I mean? And, and, and the and the uh, and the and the motions of things. Mm-hmm. But uh in my head, in my head, they were everywhere. Yeah. You know what I mean? In my head, I could see each and one of these guys, you know, everywhere. So I I would you, like, like like you said, when they told we have to bound, you know, and we would we would we were doing that um the bounding with us, but uh it was you're right, it was textbook, man. It was like like but we've always practiced. Sure. So nothing felt like, well, how do I do this? No, it was perfect. Whatever you told me to do, I already know what to do, and we do it. But that standing up part, because we weren't the prone. <laughs> and he goes, get up. And I'm like, all right, well, you know, in my head, I'm like, well, I mean, this is and then and the round was like, and then you would run. And I kid you not, and maybe people think I'm full of shit, but I remember running, mounting, and the rounds kind of got off. And I was like, Ooh, let my they head were. Up. They were. And it was funny to me, and I remember, even though I was scared, I remember laughing for like a split second going, man, why is this guy shooting only at me? Like, I could, <laughs> like, there's more here. <laughs> because I, and, and I think, you know, I try to, I try to. Make make the best of the situation, but I was I was uh you know, I remember going man this is, but you're right move bounding every time we moved and we bounded like I want to say these five different times before we got to that little compound, uh or at least we moved four three or four times I want to say before we made it to the compound, you know and thankfully thankfully nothing happened at least major you know what I mean we had mm-hmm. we did have the one officer get shot in the back of his 
leg, I think it's calf. Right. Uh, and we will find out later that the guy had a bullet stuck in the back of his kit. You know, after, this is mm-hmm. after we after we got back from the right. deployment. So, not to sell, check your stuff afterwards. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's the enough. I'm saying same boat with you, man. Thinking about standing up and running. No. no. But you did it. We had, had and we kept our equipment. So we all somehow, by a miracle, we all end up in that compound and we're hanging out there. Um, uh, one of the things I talked about was how, you know, it had been such a long day and we had been, we yeah. had been like um, really hoofing it all night trying to catch up with the guy, you know, our squad, we were black on water. We had, we had yep. water and, That's what I was and now say. we're there yeah. during the day. You guys are the same. Yeah. Yeah, we we were we were, I know, and I I can drink water, man. So I know I was like, man, well, I'm out of water. But if you remember, they had the uh, somebody had those uh, those pills that you the put, iodine, the, the iodine, iodine pills, pills, yeah, that you put in water. And uh, I don't know if you remember much about the compound, but it was a two story home. I'm joking. It was a shitty mud house with a big uh one one lucky thing. It had a big old wall one around it. Yeah, remember that, and uh, you know it's it's one of those things. I, mean, I don't know if you believe in God at some points, man. Th- th- there's things in life that you're like, man, you know, he's out there or somebody's out there. But it's one of those things where like, man, what what luck that this, this wall because it helped a lot. Yeah, that, that we we fought from in that, and I remember, I remember his name. Oh, well, I can't say his name, anyway, but he was a uh, Ricky or a reconnaissance. Uh, guy, him and a, and another guy that that sadly passed away. But that guy, a shorter dude, by a, the last name of a great general. But uh, mm-hmm. that guy, I remember them punching holes through the through the wall because it was a mud wall, mm-hmm. and fight and, and shooting from in there, you know. So that obviously they were seeing something. Um, I just remember us finding finding in place from there, man, and um. Oh yeah, the iodine pills. They had a little thing of water, and somebody made a little mix or whatever. Remember that? I do. The medic did it. Um, I don't remember. I know as a consequence, even with the iodine tablets, some guys had the shits after we had gotten back. I had the shits anyways. <laughs> Jokes on you. Scared. Well, water. I was scared. I don't remember a well, so I don't know where he got that water. No, and I, no. I, go ahead. They, I'm sorry. They they already had. It. I don't know where the well was, but they already had. It. Oh, you mean like the people there? Yeah. Oh, oh, that kind of makes sense that they'd have their own supply of water. Yeah. And so they dumped iodine. Ta- I I I think I had some. I I I feel like I remember not being interested in drinking what as thirsty as I was. I feel like I remember being like, I don't think that's a good idea. Um, and I gotten to the point where I where they had like this like squat patches squash is that the plural for squash squashes mm-hmm. you know squash and i remember taking my knife and like cutting one open hoping it was like um Did you do the whole juicy thing juicy on the inside you no, like I, I didn't peel it i didn't peel it like an apple i just cut it open and it was just like dry as a bone in there and i was like okay well there's that but then another a dude in in my team like this was like this was like it's like twilight the dude pulls out a citrus, uh, a citrus. What's it called? Rip it. Rip it. <laughs> dude, he's like, he's like, he's like, hey, you want some of this? I'm like, yeah. And it was like, it's the most, <laughs> this is the most delicious thing I've ever tasted in my life. Rip it, man. He, you know who he is. He's like, hey, do you want, do you want to try this? Do you want some? And I'm like, yeah, take it. <laughs> of course. Oh uh, yeah. Nothing has tasted that good. Um, <laughs> since then i'm chasing i'm still chasing that citrus rip it moment <laughs> that, yeah so um okay so we do that we get surrounded mm-hmm. i mean it's very much an alamo like like moment yeah um at a certain point as as they're getting the high ground around us and circling you know we go from sort of mounting mounting the ramparts as they say on the walls at the strong mm-hmm. points um, but they get the angles on us. And at a certain point, like a lot of people are just forced inside, except for a couple of key points, just because mm-hmm. they got the angle on us. 
did you uh i ended up in some random room with our fo just waiting until waiting until the end one way or the other yeah where did you towards the end where were you i was in the room with um i remember our sniper team i think that was yeah they were the sniper team i'm pretty sure and i remember um at this point um there's rounds hitting right that wall and i don't know and the sniper's like, uh, I remember somebody told the sniper, the sniper team, hey, man, get on the roof and uh, and see what you can see, basically. And, and, and the guy's like, no, we're not, we're not doing that. So what they did was... Because, then, but, but because we'll just say on there, but because they had the angle. So if these guys yeah. go on the roof, they're, they're going to yes, get... There was, there, was, yeah, there was no way of, of doing that. Okay, so, but being the sniper team, they were, they were very smart and they were very talented. They, inside the room, there was a and there was a mud hut. It was mud, right? It was pretty hard, but yeah, they yeah, did mud. have yeah. some sort of a window they, they had. Yeah, they put they put windows in those. Yeah. Yeah. And they broke it. They broke the window. And from that, you know, they, they were I want to say they I don't remember them sending rounds out, but they were definitely, you know, at least trying to see what they could see. Mm-hmm. Um, that's what I remember. I remember actually bouncing from room to room because one of the rooms got hit with the RPG, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Um and we were just kind of like going through the last little one that we could because we all ended up being in the one shack with um i want to say it was like a cow like a really skinny cow there or whatever the hell they had in there and um but prior to that remember that we were we were taking turns coming out and and shooting towards that mountainside you know we, mm-hmm. we were still doing even though we were getting shot at we were still doing a job which was you know fighting back uh we were running low on ammunition I remember I left the comp. I left the base with I think eight hundred rounds as a saw gunner. I came back with maybe maybe like ten rounds. Wow! So and that's because shooting, and then also sharing rounds. Right. Because we had to like, hey man, give some of these rounds to some of these guys. Because if you remember, there was a um a bundle that they dropped of ammunition. Mm-hmm. They just just missed by, I don't know if it meant how long it missed, but it didn't land for us, I'll tell you that much. Mm-hmm. It really didn't do much for them because I don't think they had any of that uh, particular weaponry. Uh, but uh, so, but you're right, right. I remember, I remember bouncing from room to room, but I also remember that one last room with the with the livestock they had in there. And uh, there was, remember, if you remember, there was some, there were some kicks there too. Um, there was a, definitely a, a, another a, a female and some feathers or some some kids mm-hmm. or at least one I'm not remember but I remember taking a knee I remember towards the end I remember them saying and and this this guy sound like a movie but tell me if I'm wrong I remember there's a call but they basically said hey man we can't land nothing there's there's uh you know you just and they were we had dudes on the right on the left side of us up a hill. And behind us, there was like, from what I understand, a whole bunch more coming, right? And so they basically gave us a call where they said, well, just get ready to basically fight in, in place there, right? And I remember going, I, I don't have any bullets. I mean, I have a knife, you know what I mean? And in the back of my head, I'm like, well, give the little prayer again and um, and just get ready for whoever comes through that front door. And I remember that being one of the last things I've gone, all right. Uh, this is it. This is it. You know what I mean? And uh, and and this is why I think it sounds like a movie. I remember it was nighttime or close to it already again. And and this is uh, maybe I'm wrong, but then a freaking some kind of airplane fly by, like a fighter jet or something like that. And uh, they uh, drop and a whole bunch. Yeah, I well, they were dropping basically the entire time. But yeah, at at certain points. Some went lower. They talked about doing high Mars. We had uh, the B one bomber come through. We had F sixteens come through. We there we had Apaches come through the valley, try to yeah. draw fire. I mean, it was pretty wild. They kept up that type of stuff the whole time. So the whole time they were sending rounds like that. Mm-hmm. I remember them sending that one time where that that those birds came through. And we're going, and then he got silent. And we're da 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 da. And then that's when the I want to say the table started turning towards our favor, and um, 
they they gave they gave the call that hey man you will be exfilling the birds inbound and so we start checking everybody's equipment and stuff like that and, and then um uh, eventually the bird lands i want to say about almost 200 meters in front of us to uh so it was a little bit of a run or maybe it was closer i don't remember but i remember i was running to the bird getting shot at the whole time running to the bird and then the bird taking off and then <laughs> hopefully we didn't leave anybody behind i was so telling myself hey, we're not turning back <laughs> no i'm joking but um but uh uh, that pesky yeah, cr- that pesky creed the, 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 the pesky creed yeah but uh no man yeah and i remember getting on that bird and as soon as that bird takes off and does this little i was like we're good you know what i mean you remember it was full of gatorade and rippets and, and food and water i'll uh when we pick this back up i'll I'll remind folks of what my experience was. I don't know what bird you were on. We had like little, we had like Gatorades that we share, but then uh, someone on the air crew had decided to grab powdered donuts, which was a little rough with dry mouth. But we'll we'll pick that up and we'll pick that one in, in the next time. And then I'm also I want to hear about you know all these years later your perspective on that day, that day, not that night, and uh, maybe how that influenced you the rest of your career. But we're gonna drop it here. Uh, Thanks for listening, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Bye.